So let's say a patient comes in with pneumonia. Obviously we'll hear the patient's experience and see what's been going on, listen to the chest, um, do a chest x-ray, and that will tell us that maybe there's a severe infection in the lungs, but it won't tell us what the cause of it is. So we'll know from previous experience that it's maybe one of a, a number of five or six suspects, and we'll, we'll treat the patient with antibiotics that would cover most of those suspects. But what we'll also do is do a blood test, and we'll hope that the bacteria in the blood test we can grow in a lab, and that will tell us which antibiotics are going to work. Now what the research group has used is an entirely new technique where they break open the bacteria and extract the DNA. Tuberculosis in particular is, is a slow growing bacteria, so it can take up to six weeks to grow each one individually to see whether it's resistant to any of those drugs. And the benefit of performing whole genome sequencing is that you've, you have your sequence very quickly within a matter of days and from that you can work out which antibiotics it will be resistant to. So in the old world you're doing a dozen different tests, each of which costs money. In the new world you sequence the genome of the bacterium and from that you derive all the information you need to answer all of the questions that you want to ask. What species is it? which other TB samples is it related to, which drugs is it resistant to, and which will kill it. And it's just one test, and it costs about the same amount of money as one of the many other tests we currently use. It's extraordinary that this is all immediately available, and even just 10 years ago, it might have taken months, even years, to get the complete picture. If we have uh, DNA sequencing data available, once the sequencing run is done, we can process it through our bioinformatics workflows and be able to provide you all that information in a matter of hours. In a recent study, we achieved very high accuracy and also precision in, in um, predicting whether a particular TB um, sample was going to be resistant to a particular drug or not. And now we've got past that comparative study and we're demonstrating the performance that we needed to have and therefore the decision was made to commit Public Health England to implementing it. Science is, is day after day of, of, of fairly menial grinding work, collecting data, cleaning it, making sense of it and then Every now and again you get an extraordinary high when you look at the results and you see something new and you realise you're the first person in the world who's ever seen this.